Oh, yes. Uh, our Prophet, Allah's blessings be upon him, he prayed and he made dua. And in his dua, he asked for something for Sham, which is, of course, part of Syria today, and Yemen. His words were, Allahumma barik lana fi shamina wa yamanina. Mm -hmm. Allah grant us blessings in our Sham, Syria, mm -hmm. and our Yemen. Mm -hmm. And it is particularly interesting that the two places for which he asks Baraka are the two places which are now in fire. Why is it that at the same time do both places are in fire and who is who it is who is kindling the fire and keeping the fire flowing? Same Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is at the heart mm -hmm. of the attack on Syria. Mm -hmm. Saudi Arabia is leading the attack on Yemen. Mm -hmm. When he made the statement, Allahumma barik lana fi shamina wa yamanina, they ask him, and he's in Medina, at that time it was called Yatrib. Mm -hmm. They ask him, what about our Naj? They didn't ask about a Naj which is on the moon, or in Venus, or in Mars. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. They ask him about our Naj, but our critics simply forget the word our. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, they have a little bit of problem with their memories, our critics. Mm -hmm. yeah. Our Naj. If you are in Hejaz, in Makkah, mm -hmm. and you ask a question about our Naj, mm -hmm. and you do not recognize that it is next door to Hejaz, right there in the Arabian Peninsula, you should buy a one-way ticket to the moon. You have bogus scholarship. You should be dismissed. No one should bother to about you anymore. I mean, that is stupidity of the highest order. Where have your sense gone? Don't you, have, don't you have any sense in your head? And yet you dare to come to us to preach to us? A PhD in stupidity? Even a schoolboy would know. If you are in Makkah or in Medina and you ask about our nudge, it's not a nudge in Iraq, you foolish man. I'm sorry for my violent language. But they deserve it with their bogus scholarship. If you are in Medina and you ask about our Naj, then it is next door. Just next door is our Naj. That's not our Naj. That's not our Naj. This is our Naj there. Referring yes. to this is our, I'm sorry I have to devote so much time to this mm -hmm. because those, those ignorant scholars out there with their bogus scholarship, they, grew, they don't want to listen. Mm -hmm. They don't want to listen, yes. So when... The people ask, uh, what about our nudge? <laughs> Referring, of course, to the nudge which is next door. He said, he was silent. And when they repeated and repeated the question, then he replied. Why was he silent? Why did he not reply? Because there's something bothering him. That's why. That's why. Tell that to that bogus scholarship out there, which is insisting that nudge is somewhere in Iraq. Then when he finally replied, he said from Naj, pointing to the east, mm -hmm. not north and south, to the east, pointing to the east, meaning next door, mm -hmm. that Naj next door in Arabia, not one in Iraq. He said from there, earthquakes, from there, fitna, from there, karna shaitan, the satanic age, from there. And that is precisely what the present regime in Saudi Arabia is doing. Mm -hmm. Distinguished scholars of Islam, for whom I have so much respect. Yes, I have enormous respect for Sheikh Safar al Hawali. Yes, and for Sheikh Salman al Auda. These are, these are learned scholars of Islam who, who earn the respect of this Ummah. These are distinguished scholars of Islam. These are men of integrity. From what I know of them, from their academic credentials, it, being Sunni or Shia or, or Salafi or Sufi or so on, that does not come into play when it comes to scholarship. And these are learned scholars of Islam and they're in jail in prison in Saudi Arabia. Shame on you, shame on you, shame on you, Saudi Arabia. Shame on that government. 
and whoever supports that government, shame on you as well. Yes, shame on you as well. May Allah punish you for what you're doing because you are, you are, you are terrorizing the scholars of Islam. They might even be killed, they might even be executed, these learned scholars of Islam. And I have to raise my voice for my brother Safar, for my brother Salman, they are my brothers. I don't know, maybe they may, <laughs> may be a little younger than me, they may be my the same age, but we are brothers. We are scholars of Islam, and if they did that to you today, they'll do that to me tomorrow. That is an evil regime, and whoever supports that regime should be thrown out of the place. We don't want to see your face. If you're supporting that regime, get out and close the door behind you. We don't want to see you. Sheikh Imran, I will just take this opportunity to divert from uh, my actual questions, and we know that Saudi Arabia today is holding, I would say, uh, according to uh, some uh, reports I read, the greatest number of scholars in the Muslim world. What can we... Uh, so, I didn't get that question. In Saudi Arabia, there is a huge number of Islamic scholars held in jails. Yes, I just answered yes. that. Yeah, but what can we do as individuals? You can do what I have just done. Yes. That's all I can do at this time. Raise There's awareness. nothing more yet. To raise my voice and protest of what Saudi Arabia is doing, and protest against all those ignorant people who are supporting that Saudi regime. Get out, we don't want to see your face, close the door behind you. Um, Sheikh Imran.